Now, I was electrified by that speech, mm. but, you know, not everyone's going to agree with that. And I don't know what Glenn thought, but let's go to him if we can. Glenn Beck, host of Blaze TV's The Glenn Beck Program. <laughs> Where does one begin? <laughs> let's start with the kindest thing I can say. Uh, he's not going to be able to walk or do anything for about a week. He used all of the energy that he had, all of the banana bags, uh, whatever Dr. Nick juiced him up with. He did a good job to dispel the idea that he's an old, weak man. He dispelled that tonight. If you're ignorant and you only see him tonight. But let's just... I just, I just, I just, I just, his priorities, where he started, mm. war. We got we to gotta give more money to Raytheon to send more weapons out. Trumpers are dangerous and out of control. Then January 6th. Then IVF. I don't think that's a priority for anybody, okay? But then he went into Roe versus Wade and he chastised the Supreme Court and saying that he won't take people's choices away. The Supreme Court, that's not what they did. That's not what they did. They said it's up to the states. Well, you just lit a fire under every woman in America. Good. That's what the Supreme Court said. They should go and vote in their own state. It's not a federal decision for uh, nine judges in black robes. Uh, let's see. Then, <clears throat> then he went into the pandemic, and quote, Trump didn't care. You can say an awful lot about Donald Trump and COVID, but to actually claim that he didn't care about it, he didn't care about people dying, is an outrage. But then he talked about how he's going to unite all Americans, oh, and cure cancer with the nightmare drug that we're using for COVID? What are you talking about? Uh, I was just see we went into health care and we have to have we have more people on insurance than ever before. Yeah, but he's he's gonna double the size of that. Oh, and by the way. Um, you promised it would be a $2,000 uh, cut for every family 10 years ago. It's now $12,000 more expensive. And you want to not only continue this, you want to expand that nightmare? Oh, my God. Uh, can I just do one thing on just simple math for everyone, please? Mm -hmm. If your inflation was 9% and now it's 3%, that means... Your inflation in total is 12%. Okay? You have to carry the nine with you. So when they're <clears throat> saying about, you know, inflation is down, yeah, it's not as bad as it was, but it's still what it was plus what it is now. Yeah, there's this people. weird thing that Biden likes to do, which is brag about being the second worst of all time at something when he also <laughs> was the worst yeah. of all time. It's like, oh, I had the worst yeah. gas prices of all time. Now they're down to the second worst. That means I'm great. And I, 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 I don't understand. I don't understand that. Well, I don't I don't know. I mean, you know, he he's basically saying the government is the economy. You know, government's going to spend all this money and build everything. And, you know, that's what's going to put people to work. Well, governments don't actually create any wealth. They take the wealth from others and then spend it on crappy programs. And what happens? Nothing. It doesn't create anything in the end. Oh, except, quote, we're going to be able to have clean water without the threat of brain damage. I know I've been worried about that one for a long, long time. Did you notice he said a couple of times, before I came into office, before I came into office, but now the economy is booming. 
no matter how many times he uh, tries to say that he believes in America, he clearly does not. Where were the stories about Joe Schmo, who started his own company and is now hired, didn't take any money from the government and has now hired 5,000 people? He doesn't, he doesn't believe that. He believes the government should give people money, good, and they hire good union workers. Then he joins the picket line to get the union jobs more money. Notice the only real workers he talked about were unions. He talked about the good car unions, the auto manufacturing unions, and the teachers unions. It was all about unions. Then let's lower the price of prescription drugs. Okay, I'm all for that. But you cannot do that while you are in bed, literally contracts with Pfizer and all of the big pharmaceutical companies. You're in business with them. How, you, can't, you can't slap their face on one hand and then say, come on in here, I got a great idea. You make a product, we'll force people to take it. Uh, by the way, you can also Mike check Johnson. If he has uh, so, uh, you know, cured cancer yet at hasjoebidencuredcancer.com. Anyone wants to check there? You can always check yeah, up to the no, second. No, he hasn't. No? Yeah, he hasn't uh, that I know of. Can I just say, I, I don't really know Mike Johnson yet, I, I really, but I love him after tonight. Really? I loved the looks that he gave. I love the, oh dear God. I thought he was going to get up and walk out at some point. I would have. That's why I can never be in Paula. I would have gotten up and walked out. I mean, it was, I, 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 I just, we're going to, we're going to save people all kinds of money with their credit cards because I've reduced the late fees from $30 to uh, Eight. uh, $8 or $7. Okay. All right, let's just think this through. Do you think the banks, who you've been giving money through the Fed to the whole time, do you really think they're going to lose $20 billion and go, gosh, he just, he got the best of us. What do we do? They're going to pass that $20 billion on to everyone. That's how it works, Joe. That's how it works. No joke. Not kidding. True story. Yeah. Oh my God. I, the I, only clarification I've never been more that. frustrated. Yeah. The only thing I would think, <clears throat> slightly disagree with you on that is that not everyone's going to pay that. The people who are on the higher end of the oh, scale yeah. that pay their bill every month aren't going to be paying no, I, the higher interest rates. It's going to hit middle class and, and lower income people. Hey, what was, did you guys hear, what was the shout? Something about Marines. Somebody was shouting up in the gallery. Yeah, there's a very couple, big outburst. There's a couple outbursts. There was one female voice and, and one male voice. I could not tell what they were protesting. I'm sure, you know, if you guys are on, watching on Twitter or whatever as well as we're doing this, you probably have seen it, but we didn't catch it because we were watching. I, I don't know. There were a couple interruptions. Yeah. No, nothing during the Israel Palestine thing, which I kind of expected. I figured somebody in there was going to blurt out something, but I didn't hear that. Me too. Uh, overall, but Glenn, I, I think I I, I'll take you. that you love the speech. Is that what I'm taking from your analysis? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, Glad so loved it. Virtue. Yeah. I, 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 I will tell you that there's, I only have a three hour broadcast tomorrow and I will not be able to fit all of my thoughts and dearest feelings into tomorrow's radio program. Mm. It, 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 it is a alternate universe. Let me just leave you with this. Mm. Oh, really? Oh, really? You want to fix the border now? Oh my God, excuse me, I'm a, I'm, I never use this, le what an asshole, <laughs> what an asshole. I, 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 the way he was talking down to anybody who disagreed with him in his lies about the border, what a colossal fucking asshole. <laughs> wow. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>
<laughs> well, there's a first. Uh, I've been working with Glenn for a very long time, and I don't think. Imagine what the radio show is going to be like tomorrow. By the way, affiliates, it won't be like that. I promise you. Glenn Beck, uh, thank you so much for uh, tomorrow. He's going to blow a gasket tomorrow. Uh, thanks for joining us, Glenn. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Uh, right here on Blaze TV, by the way.